Hello friends, this is Ajay. So in this video, we are going to uh, show you how to give RDP or admin access to a domain user. So let's go. First of all, we have to open a computer management. And to open a computer management, there are different ways. Uh, we are going to show you the two methods. So the first method is, uh, is from the server manager. You can just open a server manager and at the uh, top right side corner if you see there is an option tools and you will see a computer management just click on it okay so here we have the computer management so uh, i'm going to close it because i'm going to show you the second method so for the second method you can open a command prompt or you can open a powershell i'm going to use a powershell in this so just type the command comp management dot msc okay so here we have the computer management we are going to expand local users and groups uh, okay so right now we are not uh, talking about the local users. We are only concentrating on providing the access uh, to the server, to a domain user. Okay, we are not talking about the local user. We are talking about the domain user. So if we are talking about the uh, local user, then we will uh, click on this user option. Okay, and uh, if you have to provide access to a domain user, then we will go to the groups. So under groups, you will see multiple uh, options here, administrators, and there are other options and we will be basically uh, uh, means uh, learning on the administrators and the remote desktop users okay so suppose if we have a request from a user okay that he or she uh, wants access to this server if he was uh, means if the user is asking for the admin rights that he should have the admin rights to the server then we are going to add his or her id into this administrator group this one okay and if a user is uh, requesting only for the RDP access, I mean, he just only need the RDP access, then we are going to provide, we are going to add that user into this remote desktop users group. So how to add the user? So if you go to the administrators group, double click on it. Okay, so we are going to use, a, we are going to add user ID in this, uh, this group, okay. So this domain is selected and uh, suppose we have a user James Bond, okay, James Bond. So we actually have a user, this James Bond, which is in this directory, in this uh, domain, okay, tally.hu.com. So that is the reason we will be able to identify this uh, user. If we do the chat name, see, it recognized that we have a user named James Bond in this location or directory so we are going to do ok and we are going to do ok again but uh, before uh, providing access let me show you first thing okay so we will be logging off from this machine and we will try to access from the sorry So we are going to uh, we, will, we will try to access from that uh, James Bond. So his user ID is J Bond, and let me type the password. Okay, so it says the username password is incorrect. I don't think so. okay so let's go log in with my own my account so we will again go to the computer object Oops. Go to the administrators and we will add the James Bond 
So now that the James Bond user have fully access, uh, fully control on this server. And uh, so if you want to give a RDP access, only RDP access to the user, then you can add the user into this account and it should not be added to this account only. See, the difference between this administrator's group and the remote desktop users is if the user is added to the administrator's group, he will be having all the rights. Means he will be having the full control to this server. He can. Uh, he can shut down the server he can do anything he can make any changes into the server okay and if we are providing if we are adding the user to this remote text of users group so he will be having a limited access like uh, he won't be able to shut down the machine or the server and he won't be able to do any i uh, mean uh, any any changes into the server i believe he won't be able to restart the services as well into the server so basically he will be having a limited access or you can say he will be having only the view access rdp access he can only read the things he cannot make any changes into the server okay so this is the basic difference between administrators and rdp access so we are going to log off and we are going to log in back again with our james bond id okay so let me log off and we'll see if we are able to log in Data gun, James Bond. See, and he, this account, this user has now uh, full access to this machine. If the user want to shut this machine or restart, he can restart it. See, the machine has been restarted. So now I am going to show you the demo. Like, uh, we'll be uh, removing this James, this user account from the administrator group, and we will be adding to the remote desktop users group and we will see the difference okay i will be using my account now We have removed this user from the administrator's group and we are adding it to the remote desktop users. Okay, so now uh, means uh, we are going to add this user to this remote desktop users. Okay, so the server is responding very slow. Please bear with me. So we have this user added to the remote desktop users group but we have removed it from the administrators group so he is only having the rdb access right now so what we are going to do we are going to log off from my id and we are going to log in back with the james bond id
so we are logged in but uh, this time we will be having a limited access limited access like we won't be able to shut down restart this machine okay so if you see now we do not have the option available to shut down or restart this machine this says that there are currently no power options available okay so even if i will try to restart this machine this server where command prompt let's see see it says access denied okay just to be sure we will run it as the administrator okay so this account doesn't have the administrator right so we will not be able to open it as run as administrator so you can see the changes now the difference between the administrator and the rdp access rights only so if we go to the services let's try if we are able to restart any service so we will try to restart dhcp service see we do not have any option everything is grayed out we can only check the properties everything is grayed out but if you have the administrator rights you would be you you will be having this option uh, available to start stop pause resume start restart everything will be available so i guess this video is very useful to you guys uh, because i have explained all the things about the access part the basic and the major difference between the administrator and the rdp access uh, so thank you for watching this video and uh, please uh, do subscribe to this channel my channel if you really like this video and for more videos uh, you can just comment me if you if you want uh, more videos like this to be shared on this on my channel Thank you.